I'm Penny Lawson, I'm the project officer for the Spay Catchment Initiative and this is the Upper Spay and it's a project to do some restoration work here on um, Glenshiro Estate. We have a lot of wildlife here at Glenshiro. Um, we have a lot of wading birds including oyster catchers and lapwings. We've got birds of prey including golden eagles and of course we have Atl Atlantic salmon. We feel that this project is very important in the Crenshaw Estate. It benefits the river, the lands around it and most importantly the wildlife within it. So we chose this location for habitat restoration um, because there's a lack of bankside vegetation and trees here and we know now that that's a really important factor for keeping the river in good condition and providing the right kind of habitat. So what we're doing here is putting what we call large wood structures into the river which are felled trees with the root plates attached and they're mimicking the function of natural dead wood falling into the river um, which has multiple effects but one of the main ones we were looking for here was improving the habitat um, for fish. It also creates changes in flow pattern, so that we move away from a monocultured system of water travelling through this environment. It's broken up. There are places where it's deeper, cooler, so you create more environments for entomology to survive. So collectively, there's quite a wide range of benefits by putting these structures in. So funding is always a major factor in doing projects like this and in this case the project was funded through Nature Scott's Nature Restoration Fund. It's ideally set up for doing this kind of project and we couldn't have done it without that source of funding. This project has been a great example of collaboration between GFG and Jahama, uh, Spay Fishery Board, the Spay Catchment Initiative, SEPA, to work together to the greater benefit of everyone and nature around here. We're hoping to see some positive changes really quickly. In fact, just a few months after the large woody structures were installed, we can already see pools and gravel deposits forming around them. We'd like to see that continuing so we can get really good quality habitat in the river. And ideally, within the next decade, we'd expect to see um, a big increase in the number of juvenile salmonid fish, so salmon and trout being produced from this area, but also to see um, benefits to the other life in the river, including the invertebrate population, um, that increasing and uh, yeah, general improvement in the landscape and the habitat quality in and around the river. The success of this project is largely down to working with partners and I suppose the one essential partner that the job could not have got done without is uh, Johama Highland Estates whose ground we're on here and who've been really really supportive um, all the way through in terms particularly of giving us access to the sites and supplying the trees to form the large woody structures. So if anybody did want to find out more about this project and how it progresses, um, we're on social media, Spay Catchment Initiative, and there's also information about this and our other projects on our website, which is spaycatchment.org.